Due to my original live commentary on this part being lost because my microphone wasn't on at the time, this episode will be done with post-commentary. My apologies. Welcome back to the Fire Emblem Fates Birthright Blind Run. Last time, we defeated Seductive Sis for hopefully the final time in Nor's Sewers, and this time, oh boy, with a chapter name like that, this is not going to end well. And, uh, since this is post-commentary... Oh, by the way, uh, we have something new here first. Yeah, we actually have Yukimura. So, this is due to me upgrading one of the puppets to level 3 in the last chapter. So, yeah, Yukimura still making chess metaphors. Pfft. It makes a lot of sense for him. And then there's this line. This line is very, very fourth wall breaking when you think about it. Yeah. <clears throat> Are you sure it's okay to leave the castle defended by, my only guess is, weird puppet Yukimura? I don't know. Are you sure they won't realise? Anyway. So, yeah, we have Yukimura now. You get him by upgrading... Oh, we also have Anna on the run. Yeah, I've mentioned how I'll deal with that in another video. So, if we go ahead and check the inventory, we have Yukimura here. So, he is level 10. This, I think, is the lowest level you can get him at. And just comparing him to Sizor here for terms of mechanist stats, uh, Sizor seems a little bit better, but Yukimura does have better defense and much better HP. Uh, actually, Yukimura's stats all around are pretty good, except for luck and, well, magic, but that doesn't really matter. And he actually has, if you look at his skills, yeah, he's got the Apothecary skills right off the bat, so, uh, looks like... Looks like Kazuya's Child is the only one who... Uh, isn't the only one who can have those skills naturally. He's also got Golem Bane, yeah? And he has this, which is basically Sias Light. Good thing it's not, like, actually Sias, otherwise it would be in major trouble on the Conquest route. Yeah, he gave, like, what, was it, like, plus 50 accuracy to Void to everyone <laughs> while he was on the map? Yeah. So yeah, one of one of Mikoto's retainers, Hoshigen Strategist, very, very creepy romance option for female Corrin. Uh, yeah, we have him. Hmm, hi there, Carden, what do you got there? Izana's Scroll! Oh, that's interesting, seeing as you were just talking to Izana right there. So, hi there, Izana, what you doing there? Ah, uh, wait, what? Yep, Izana's done it again! I'll be right back! That's twice that Izana has crashed the game. I'm starting to get very, very, very suspicious of him. Oh, hey, Ryoma's Club. You'd, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? Look, I, I will say, it is very, very awkward to hear people just gush about how good Ryoma and Scarlet is as a pairing, even though it can't actually happen, when I actually really like male Corrin and, and Scarlet. It's actually probably one of my... Well, it's the only pairing I've done for him so far, but it is one of my favourites. Ah, oh, an accessory, huh? Hmm, what should I give you? Uh, I guess trainee guard would work. Anyway, now I think the cause of that crash was that Awakening is on a separate SD card to this game. Also checking out Izana's scroll here. Doubles might when attacking, but it can't double. That's, uh, it's alright, but it's not exactly the best. Anyway, like I was saying, Awakening is on a separate SD card to... Two Fates, and a few of my other games. It was on the one the system came with, because I got the uh, Awakening Special Edition 3DS. And so, because I had to record briefly from Awakening to, for the intro of Rajat's Paralogue, I had to switch the SD cards over, I had to switch back for this, and I'm, I'm guessing the new SD card wasn't really in all that securely. That might have been what happened. I've since, um, basically, yeah, uh, took it out, put it back in again, and it has not crashed on me so far, so I think it's actually working. Oh, hi there, Rajat. Um, hmm. Aren't you technically supposed to give him good prizes all the time? Let's see if this pays off. Oh, actually, it kind of did. Still never got gold, though. Heart Seal! I didn't actually expect you to be able to get those from, from the lottery, but you can, apparently. That's actually... That might be useful. I honestly don't know who I'm going to heart seal in this game, really. Uh, I don't know. Because if Kamui, if I heart seal Kamui, then he's going to end up uh, as a Sky Knight and he'll have E ranks in both of his weapon types. And that's not good this late in the game. Actually, checking out the Smithy. Ah, oh, hi there, Takumi. You seem to be on Smithy duty quite often. I wonder if I've given him a shield that makes him get on it uh, quite often. Um, just wanting to check something. Oh, I have boots. I should probably use those. 
Uh, I can forge a pine branch. Okay then, that's interesting. So, let's see what to name this thing. Uh, I really went with a really unoriginal option here. I couldn't think of anything really that great, so I decided to be really unoriginal, and uh, let's see when I decide to do that. <clears throat> here we go. Yeah, I just decided to call it... Big Stick. Yeah, that was really unoriginal of me. And two exclamation marks for emphasis. Oh, we can forge a brass Nakinata. Let's see what else we can... Oh, it doesn't look like... I, I can forge two Ryoma's clubs together, actually. That might actually seem... That's actually very, very good might, but its hit rate's not so good. Apparently that sort of reflects Ryoma's character, but... <clears throat> You'd think a samurai would specialise in good hit rate weapons. So, anyway, we're going to call this one... Why... So, I tried to enter why you is club, because seriously, why is your almost signature weapon a club and not a katana? But that wouldn't fit, so I simply had to call it why you club. And by the way, I am in fact spelling you correctly. Uh, I just want to mention something. It actually really, really bugs me when people on the internet use the letter U to mean Y O U. Uh, it, it just, it just, uh, seeing that immediately makes me less likely to take a YouTube comment seriously. Because it's just, it just looks really, uh, it, uh, it makes sense when you're on things that have a character limit, but when, when you don't have a character limit, it just feels lazy and just really, I don't like it at all. It's, it really bugs me. Anyway, though, one more level up for Lilith. Yeah, see, I, I probably because I upgraded her shrine earlier. Great magic, but, uh, yeah, I wish her stats were this high on the other route. And I guess now it's mess hall time. Who's on cooking duty today? Well, at least it's soon as outside, and... Ah, now seeing this quote here, I actually uh, was like, oh, okay, that doesn't sound good. This does not bode well for us. Also, just discovered salt is considering the internet lately. That's kind of funny too. But yeah, I honestly don't know when the salt meme started. I've never really been up to date with, well, I find a lot of recent internet memes really annoying, actually. I, I prefer a lot of the older ones. Helps that I got into a lot of older internet memes, like over 9,000, much, much later than most people did. Um... Oh. Uh... Passionate. Okay, then. So, in my live commentary, I didn't realise whose adjective passionate was. I... Considering that, uh, as you can see here, what it does... So, it's actually quite good. So, don't feed it to the dogs, unless that they are uh, uh, Keaton and his daughter, who aren't actually here. So, females get a big boost, so that was actually pretty spectacular. I actually think Selkie's not a bad cook, I think her usual adjective is elegant. But, here's the thing, okay? At the time, in my original live commentary on this part, I guessed that passionate was, was Laszlo's adjective. It's actually Camilla's, which is surprising. But yeah, I really thought it would be Laszlo's, but anyway. I was about to say that speaking of memes, I, uh, I I also really liked Arrow in the knee. And by the way, it's Arrow Got in it. the knee, not Arrow to the knee, just pointing that out. Uh, just because of the sheer hilarity of NPCs always saying the exact same... Like, of literally every single guard in the entire world having the exact same backstory. That was just always funny to me. <laughs> anyway, see... Yeah, who, do, who would go in first? I was tossing this up because Asuki has less defense, but... Uh, Let's see. Sniper's not great because they have the advantage over one well, on a sniper, a uh, um, merchant. They have the advantage over shurikens, but weirdly enough, I did totally fine there. I've heard Asuki is supposed to be pretty amazing, so, I mean, his stats are very good for me. Interesting, seeing as the children's, like, base growth rates factor into them a lot more. Some of the kids do seem naturally a lot better than others. Okay, this could go either way, I think. Okay, both those hit. That's not good, but I, uh, I one-shot you. 
taking candy from a baby. Okay, can the nin the, the, the ninja candy can the candy ninja carry this one more? Let's see. On Myoji. Okay then, this shouldn't be too bad. But very often when you end up fighting uh, magic users with with uh, high resistance units in the arena, they usually end up a lot stronger than you think. But okay, this is all right. But if I get unlucky here, oh no, abort, abort, abort. Abort, I should probably at this point, uh, oh no, that's one, bad, 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 please don't hit, please don't hit, please, okay, thank you, that was really, really lucky. That could have gone really badly. Why did Saizo have to do only nine and not ten? But, father and son ninjas, sadly the father doesn't vanish here, father and son ninjas win us eight Lapis, so that was a pretty good showing. <laughs> Of course, can't resist making sweet puns, just like the person that you totally aren't. Uh, I should probably try and persuade people in the prison again, even though this might not... I don't know, I forget who's still in here. Oh, Tarp is still in here. You know what, at this point I realised I have enough resources to bribe Tarba, and because he was taking so long to recruit, I, I'm thinking at this point, you know what, I might as well. Yeah, let's just bribe him. Hey, and Tarba's joined us. Even though he has no skills, so he's not going to be nearly as good as Gazark on the other routes. But anyway, now, I'm guessing that Funk being level 20 is going to take forever to persuade. Might want to try, uh, Nicole. Though I've heard that he's apparently quite bad, and generic Malignites are actually better than him if you capture them. So that's kind of sad, but anyway, might as well go for him. Especially seeing as he apparently does have critical portraits, just like uh, Candace. One of the only capturable bosses who does have critical portraits. And anyway, I believe it's now time to head to the private quarters for some intense face-looking action. So, let's see. Oh, okay, it's this. I haven't had this bath event for ages, so uh, let's show this one. I thought it was best if I didn't recreate myself blowing on the microphone there. Oh, and the reason why I'm still showing this Bond, and uh, I'm not really bothering to edit it because I don't really care, uh, we've already seen her full conversation here, but with this, we have maxed out our second row of hearts, and we can get the Love Bracelet, which I can actually get this time because I actually have an accessory shop on this route. So, uh... Yeah, I'll be sure to show that one off, and uh, yeah, you're saying the same thing, so... Uh, Let's just okay. kind of skip that. However, this thing about alternate realities is going to be important once we get to the actual chapter itself. But anyway, let's see who can, we can invite. Kana, Felicia, we've got quite a few people, but I think we've seen most of them already. We have seen most of them already, but here's the thing. I wanted to maybe invite Izana in, even though he has a habit of crashing the game, because he can only support with Kamui. So, I was thinking maybe he will, he could get a support up out of this, and this would actually give him a bit of development. But, let's just see. Your party games are the silliest! I'm taking notes. That was a different line, I'm pretty sure, so at least we got that. Now, let's see what else we can do here. In a lot of ways, we kind of want to put off this next chapter as long as we can, but let's check out that bracelet of love in the accessory shop. Yeah, you get that now, which is good. So yeah, you actually have to have an accessory shop to receive it. You can't just uh, just suddenly go into your accessories and expect to have it. So I, I was wondering which it was. Nope, definitely not there. Okay, it's there, and I can't really see it on Kamui. So I had to try it on someone else. So if we go to Scarlet, I'd say Scarlet would quite like this. There it is. It's uh, on her left arm there. 
So, yeah, I think Scarlet would like wearing something flashy and blingy like that, so I'm going to keep that on her for now. Also, the music in the accessory shop, that played at a certain point on the Conquest route, and I didn't recognise the song because I didn't have an accessory shop there. But anyway, I guess it's support time now. We don't have that many supports, though, though we do have Kamui and Azura A. Uh, so Azuma and Mitama, and Azuma and, and Hinoka, which I'm surprised I didn't get until this late, and uh, no one else, so these are the ones I could do. Let's, uh, let's do that one first. Oh, uh, I think this is another one that I'm annoyed I didn't get my live reaction to, because uh, Azuma's pretty amazing, as always. <laughs> Recently I've looked at, uh... I was actually just saying, if anyone needs a hair care routine, it's in some ways Azuma, because his hair looks like a giant fire. <laughs> yeah, Azuma's amazing. <laughs> he needs to point out everything. And this is interesting. Yeah, we get a little bit of information on their backstory. And always handy with a Naginata, but not that great of a Pegasus Rider. Perhaps she originally um, was a Spear Fighter before she became a Sky Knight. <laughs> Maybe it isn't. <laughs> yeah, Azuma's pretty amazing. Speaking of him being amazing, let's see. I'm annoyed that I didn't get my blind reactions to this one either. And this animation here, yeah, it's one of the few where something else on the portrait other than a character's face changes. She's actually snapping her pen here. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, this is really good. <laughs> By waking her up really early in the morning. And yeah, that 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 pen snapping makes me think of almost an Ace Attorney sprite. <laughs> well, in some ways, it's not like she's any better. And getting more serious now. Yeah, Asuma did promise he'd be less of a jerk in his S support with uh, Setsuna. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be the one to care usually, but, um, yeah, he is a parent now, and he does definitely care about her. <laughs> well, that makes sense. <laughs> I love that one. That's one of my favourite haikus of hers so far, actually. <laughs> And it's almost like Azuma's turning into Kaldori at this point. <laughs> Azuma's amazing. Yeah, as always. We haven't actually got the A yet. And I guess Kamui and Azura is the only one. Yeah, I only have B with both the parents. I really want to get A's. Anyway, though, we've almost got Kamui and Azura A. Gotta be careful not to accidentally initiate an, an A-plus support with Sakura, though, because that one's gonna be kinda bad. But anyway, let's see this one. I think this one's gonna be quite relevant at this point in the game. Yeah, Storm is definitely coming. Again, very relevant at this point in the game. And not so relevant at this point in the game. Kamui, you're kinda in right now. Yeah, this is another issue with supports being completely devoid of story context. So basically it's like, oh yeah, I sure miss being in Noor. You're in Noor right now. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of interesting. The places aren't necessarily bad, it's really just Garen. And well, hopefully he'll be gone soon. So, Kamui and Azura have reached their A support. That means I've actually unlocked every uh, unique Hoshiden Kamui and Azura support that isn't the S. Because, yes, they are totally different supports for each route. Apparently, Azura was going to have different supports with Kana for each route if she was her mother. 
Okay, now let's check what we can build and upgrade. Uh, I guess we can upgrade the smithy. We can upgrade some of the statues, but uh, I don't know about that. Uh, we can upgrade the Iron Harrier shop or the puppets. Maybe a few better puppets would be useful. I did test drive my... Uh, not test drive, but I did do uh, one of the invasions recently, and the puppet was pretty amazing there. It just kind of wrecked everything. Of course, higher level enemies would probably wreck it still, but yeah. And I upgraded the Iron Harrier shop for better evasion in castle battles. But let's see who we got here. We got Rinka, Felicia. Yeah, I think um, I've only got the default people in my in my Street Pass team. At least I got t uh, I've got a Takumi Iron Harrier now and Mozu. Definitely want those two. Yeah, I haven't really Thank paid you. much attention to my my Hoshido Street Pass team. I'll have to do that eventually. But at the moment, it's pretty much just easy pickings for anyone. And uh, oh yeah, I decided to check something. I didn't mean to do that actually. Yeah, I was checking to see this here, and it turns out that, yeah, like I was talking about before, uh, oh yeah, here's my uh, level 3 puppet. Uh, these are just the level 2 puppets. There's the level 3 puppet, which is actually quite good. Silver Yumi and Big Saw, as well as Seal Strength. Like I said, this thing totally wrecked everything in an invasion. It did happen to be an invasion of Kinshi Knights, but still. Minus 6 Strength and minus 6 Magic, though, is pretty awesome from that Big Saw. And a B rank in both weapon types. Oh, and yeah, as you can see, I really only have... Oh, I do have Mozu in it, but yeah, I should probably update my Street Pass team. Oh well, I can do that later. I, at this point, like I've said, I don't really care about my castle battles. I only really care about single player. So, with that, I think we've done everything we can, unless we have some inventory management to do. I'm not entirely sure whether we do or not. Uh, let's... I forgot what I was actually doing at this point. Oh, that's it! I think I wanted to give you the, uh, the YU Club, and I'm on the wrong menu. Uh, where are you? Not the Reaper. There you are. YU Club. Awkward but powerful weapon. Crit 15, Might 18 for only a D rank. That's pretty amazing, actually. So, giving her the YU Club. And... Hmm... Who else... I think we're... Oh yeah, I need to take your Dragon Spirit. In fact, I don't think anybody has an A rank in Tomes at this point, so I don't think I can actually use that. I did give Izana a scroll, though, just to show what it looks like. And does anyone else need any new weapons? Oh yeah, I forgot to give Mozu the, uh, the Forged Pine Branch, actually. So yes, we have the Reaper, and come on past me, realize faster. You forgot to give her a certain something. You forgot to give her a certain something past me. Yeah, there we go. Forgot to give her a big stick. Or we have a guard Naginata. But, you know what. Let's go ahead and take the big stick. Pretty good might on it. And its low hit rate doesn't really matter when her uh, stats are so high at this point. Now, let's just say things are going to get a little more interesting for Mozu soon. In this next chapter. But, uh, oh yeah, the... Uh, Selkie can't yet use Beastone Plus. That's really annoying. I kind of wish she could. I'm also comparing their stats there, because for some reason, Cardin actually seems to be a bit better than her, despite the fact she has aptitude, and that's really starting to disappoint me. So, yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. Well, then. So, next time... This does not sound good at all.